Hey friends, Derek Gates here, Remnant Revival Center in Los Angeles, California. You know, many of you know me. I have uh, ministered for many years, uh, uh, 25, 26 years now, and uh, pastored for a long time in Kansas City, my wife and I. Many people that I know are uh, IHOPers, as they call them, from IHOP KC. Uh, even many of the leaders at IHOP were people that we brought up in leadership roles and discipled them and trained them early on. Uh, I've never been an IHOPer myself, even though I have enjoyed and took part in the, the prayer room many countless, countless times, countless nights. I've written books uh, in that prayer room, written uh, hundreds and hundreds of sermons in the prayer room. And uh, we even trained their inner healing and deliverance teams at one point, uh, my wife and I and uh, some of our staff at our church. And uh, even though so we're not part of IHOP, we, we do love the people of IHOP. Um, I was very involved with the evangelism department when that still existed. And, and uh, we have roots that go back uh, to, to prophetic history through the place. And, and uh, I just want to say this to those of you that are there, those of you that are hurting, those of you that are confused, that uh, put your trust in Jesus Christ. Put your trust in God. Man will let you down every time. But please don't do this. Don't discount what God has done in your life. Don't discount what God has spoken to you through other people at different times of your life. If you read the Bible, the Bible is full of failures that God still used. We're not, we're not making exceptions uh, for shortcomings. People should be held accountable for shortcomings. And I pray that justice is found no matter what the situation ends up being. Uh, I believe the testimonies um, of people should be taken very serious. And uh, it does break my heart to see how some of this stuff has been handled. But my concern is not for the leaders of IHOP. My concern is not for Mike Bickle. My concern is not for the executive leadership team. My concern is for the hundreds of thousands of people that have been touched by IHOP over the past two, three decades, that they are seeing this now. And what I'm hearing uh, from people is they are starting to discount what God has actually done in their lives over the past 30 years because they believe that it may not have really been God. Well, God has a track record of using failures. He doesn't, orda he doesn't ordain the failure, but he will use failures. Uh, many people know that I say this often, that some of my best education in life has come from my failures. Um, so I just want to say, don't discount what God has done. God has worked through men that have made major mistakes all through history. Don't discount what God has spoken to you in the prayer room. Don't discount what brought you to that place to intercede and to pour yourself out to be poured into by God. Uh, these things exist not for the leadership, but for the people. Uh, we, you know, we have seen a lot of exposures and, and failures over the past uh, several years, and it's not going to stop now. It's, it's going to continue as there is a cleansing, I believe, in the body of Christ. Um, but the reality of it is meetings that where people show up to get touched by God, God shows up because of the people that are being drawn to Christ, not because of the person behind the pulpit. Anointing and character are very different. We need to learn to stop idolizing rock star leadership, rock star pulpit ministry, and start putting God back into his rightful place at the pulpit. I hope this helps some people, and, and I, I hope that, that you draw close to God because God is close to the brokenhearted. And uh, just know that he loves you in this time. He loves you in all the times. 
and he he desires for you to draw close to him and i hope to see you i know many of you know that i'm going to be in kansas city at the end of this month um the uh, 22nd and the 23rd doing meetings right there in grandview and um uh, I, I hope to see you. I hope to hug on you. I hope to love you. And uh, I hope that I'm able to show you that Christ still is king, that Christ is still on the throne, and that Christ still wants to work. And he is not done with you. He's not done with our nation. And he's not done doing signs, miracles, and wonders in your life and in other people's lives, guys. God bless you. Peace out and shalom.